talk to you for a couple moments about fan base basics. One of the basic things that I know in building a fan base is being able to have the contact information of that person so you can follow up. So say for instance you go to a gig, you're doing either a showcase or some type of gig, make sure you put together some type of mailing list sheet or card that has their basic information, either their name, cell phone, telephone number, email address, or uh, name, address, and telephone, all the contact information that you give from a person. Because say for instance you do a gig and uh, they, they don't have the finances they paid to get to, to the event or they just don't have the money and they're not able to purchase. But if you get their contact information, you can always follow up and send them and add them to your newsletter, to your email newsletter. You can follow up with phone calls and invite them to other events and so on and so forth. And so uh, one of the basics of having uh, and building your business as a, as a music uh, business person, independent, independent music person, is to make sure that you bring that type of information with you. I've seen too many artists, because of putting on events as well as doing sound for events, I found that uh, people will come up and ask them, hey, do you have a card? Don't you have a business card? So make sure you also have a business card of some kind. You know, go ahead and invest the money into a business card because it's going to fall, you know, because when they're looking for a band or an artist to perform for an event uh, and they can't get a hold of you, you've lost out on that gig as well. So those couple of things that uh, just to get you started, make sure you get a mailing list card or some type of flyer or some type of sheet that 8.5 by 11, you know, or do 11 by 8.5 that has the kind you know has where you can sign everybody up on a list and that you can follow up this is dr brian cockrell i'm music boss this is the tip for the day